My name is Pranita Padalwar, and I'm a product manager in Power Pages. I focus on data experiences in the product. So to, to begin with, I'll first give an overview of Power Pages to set context and then dive into the demo to show how customers can contextually create tables, forms, and view in data workspace uh, in their desired solution. As data workspace is now solution aware. If you have questions and reactions, keep them coming in the chat. Okay, so Power Pages was introduced as the newest edition of Power Platform in October 2023 during Ignite to build, host, and administer websites. Power Pages empowers Fusion teams, be it business users, IT admins, or developers, to create external facing websites in a low code, no code manner. Power Pages is an enterprise grade platform for organizations to build and launch external self service websites that allow them to connect with their customers, partners, communities to share and collect business data securely and at scale. We are already seeing great customer momentum with Power Pages. The momentum is across industries state and local governments, retail and manufacturing, financial service organizations, educational institutes, and nonprofit organizations. The types of websites we see being created by these organizations span citizen services, application processes, such as visa applications, registration services like product warranty or course registration, and partner portals to share key business data securely with their partners. Now let's look at the website building experience in Power Pages. And the website building experience resides in Design Studio. Makers can build and style business centric websites in a low code, no code manner within Design Studio. Design Studio has four immersive workspaces dedicated to specific user jobs. Starting from the top left, Pages Workspace. In Pages Workspace, Makers can create site structure, build web pages using drag and drop experiences. Makers can configure and add components, starting from standard components such as image, videos, to data powered components. Second is styling workspace. In the styling workspace, makers can apply global site styling or themes to match their company branding. Third, data workspace. In data workspace, makers can manage their business data. They can create data or tables, forms, and views to be used in the site. Four is setup workspace. In the setup workspace, makers can configure their site settings, such as authentication providers, managing permissions, and much more. Now let's dive deeper into data workspace. In data workspace, makers can create and manage their business data. They can create and modify data or tables to store the site data, create forms to collect data from site visitors, or create and modify views to, to be displayed on the site. Data Workspace is one-stop shop to easily visualize and manage business data for the site. And all of this is stored in Dataverse on the platform. With this context, now let's dive into the Data Workspace solutions topic. Data workspace is now solution aware. So what does this mean? This means that makers can select any unmanaged solution of their choice within data workspace. After they select the solution, any creates or edits made in data workspace will be added to the selective solution. All newly created tables and columns will get the schema prefix of the selected solutions publisher. This becomes super important as different teams within the organization could be building different sites and schema name becomes a key way to identify what assets belong where. Now, why is this an important problem? This is important because makers can now organize their data assets in the desired solution contextually while working in data workspace without navigating away. This enables makers to take their site from dev to prod easily following Power Platform ALM best practices. For example, if makers want to take their site from one environment to another, such as from dev to prod, they can do this easily. With that, let me dive into the product demo. Okay, so right now I am in Power Pages homepage. In here, as you can see, I've already created scholarship application site. The scenario is, 
we want to create a site to allow students to apply for scholarships. So I'm going to go edit the site. This launches the, the design studio. Currently, I'm in Pages workspace, and as you can see here, I've already designed my home page. In the left pane, uh, now I want to create tables, forms, and views that will be used in the site. The table will be used to store the application data that students submit. So in the left pane, I'm navigating to data workspace. Now in here, before creating any tables, forms, or views, I want to make sure that the right solution is set so that anything I create here gets added to that solution. So I come to the settings gear, and in here, I select scholarship application site solution. In this dropdown, I can see the list of all unmanaged solutions. And in this case, I'm choosing scholarship application site solution. So as you can see here, the solution selection has been updated. Now, let me go ahead and create the table. I'm going to call it application details. And I'll go to advanced options to show the schema prefix name. So for this, this solutions publisher prefix is called app. And as you can see here, it has got appended as a prefix to the schema name. Same applies to the column. As you can see here, the prefix uh, of the schema name is the solution publisher's name that I had chosen. So now I'm going to save it. As the table gets saved, it will be added to the solution that I had selected. OK, so now I'm in the applications detail table that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and create one column as well. I'm going to call it date of birth. It is a date. Let's make it a date only column. And then as you can see here, the prefix of the schema name has been appended uh, based on the solutions publisher names. So I'm going to save it. OK, so now to verify, let's just go to the Solution Explorer and check if the table and the column that we created got added to that respective solution. So I'm going to go to Scholarship Application Site Solution. And in here, as you can see, I have my table as well as I have the respective columns in that table. So this was the column that I created, and rest of the columns come out of box as any table is created in Dataverse. So now going back to data workspace and power pages. So like I created a table, when I create views and forms, similarly those views and forms would also get added to the respective solution that I've selected here. We hope that this improves makers' productivity multifold as they can now contextually select the right desired solution within data workspace as they create their tables, forms, and views. With that, I'll hand it over. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Pranita, on that one. Really, really cool to say the investments and continuously new stuff in here in Power, uh, Power Pages as well. So really, really cool job. Uh, and a great demo. Thank you for that. Live demos are always great. Thank you.